Hello, everybody, and welcome to Match Reaction Show on Late Night Football. It's, uh, well, congratulations to Manchester City for winning the league title. And, uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm just, uh, uh, you know, they didn't make it easy. City never make it easy, do they? They never make it easy. But uh, it's finished. Uh, Man uh, Manchester City 3, Aston Villa 2, and Liverpool 3. Wolves won, but City win uh, the league title because of that. But, oh, my God, uh, what, what, a, what a seesaw turn of events. I mean, it started out, Wolves take the lead, 1-0 up. You're thinking, oh, my God, are Liverpool, you know, crumbling under pressure? Are Liverpool crumbling under pressure? And it's City are nil-nil. They're crumbling under pressure, too. City weren't very good in that first half. So they were really, really bad in that in that first half. I mean, I think that one shot on target, but at the end, they really were struggling. And then Matty, and then it's Matty Cash who scores. It's 1-0. And uh, Liverpool, of course, get the equaliser. They always do. Uh, uh, through uh, oh, Sadio Mane, wasn't it, who scored that? Yeah, it was Mane who scored the equaliser. It's 1-1 one, one Liverpool. It's 1-0 City. And you're thinking, oh, my God, is, is something happening? What's coming in the second half? And then Coutinho scores. Former Liverpool man scores 2-0 uh, Aston Villa. You're thinking, well, as long as Liverpool just need to get a goal, Liverpool just need to get a goal. And then City will, you know, they, you know, could could the, the ramifications change? And, and ah, and, you know, it's, it's it's all pressure, and nerves, and, and I'm I'm a neutral. I'm, I don't support either of you, and I wanted City to win because I don't want Liverpool to win. But oh my God, it's it's just nerves and jangling, and they're wondering has Pep bottled it? Has Pep bottled it? Um, and and you know the the the, the memories of Madrid come back. Remember, keep in mind, Mahrez could have sealed it against uh, Liverpool. He could have sealed it against West Ham. They missed two chances. They they could have done it against. They they shouldn't drop you know six points to Spurs. They you know the, those are things that you think about as the season goes. And then suddenly Gundogan scores up a header. Uh, and then uh, Rodri scores the wonderful shot past in. And then Gundogan scores again with a wonderful cross from De Bruyne that comes in. It's three two five minutes three two. And there it is. And and uh, you know and Liverpool is still one all. Liverpool is still one all. And then of course Salah rattles one in. Robertson rattles one in. But it doesn't matter. It's too late. Um, and it's finished three two city and, and city are the champions. You know that that's how simple it is. Sometimes sometimes uh, they make it hard, but then it's also very simple, isn't it? The equation. Liverpool City just needed to win, and they do that. And uh, congratulations to all City fans. I think I think the only thing the clock will think about is the fact that if if at one event City were down two nil and Liverpool were one all, if they had got a goal there, you know, in that period, because what travels right, and they got that goal. Tell you what, things could have been different. Things, you know, the pressure suddenly starts, things get different. But, you know, um, such as football, we'll never know. We'll never know. But at least Liverpool's quadruple bid is over. And that's all that every United fan wants to think about. This is happy travel day. I think we're going to have to start calling this happy travel day now because that is what it is. Uh, you know, the day when no English team can do a treble. And I think that's Liverpool left it right up to game 38, but it's finally happened. Uh, so, congratulations to Man United fans as well. Uh, not to worry about that. And, um, Congratulations to City, you've deserved it over 38 games. I think they've been brilliant. Uh, congratulations to Liverpool fans. But you know what? Liverpool have been brilliant this season too. I think there's nothing you can take away. The reality is there were a few games in the middle where they were losing midfielders. And I think that's where they got a couple of draws too many. And that's where I think it kind of slipped away. That game against Spurs though, that will be the one that they'll think about. Because if they had won that one, uh, things might have been different. Because that game wasn't it against Spurs for Liverpool ultimately, which, 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 which makes that difference. Just the point makes a difference, doesn't it? But uh, anyway, that, that's, you know, Amanda Fernandez. They will do, of course, more in-depth uh, reviews for the season, of course, with City fans as well. We'll have to do that. But at the moment, congratulations to City. Uh, congratulations to Liverpool. We've got another match reaction, uh, one coming up for you as well for the, for the Europa League spots. We'll talk about that as well. There's so much happened today. So much happened today. So stay tuned. Uh, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it as well. And do subscribe uh, to our channel on YouTube as well as on Facebook because we've got a lot of comment, uh, you know, content coming up today. So you want to get stay notified as they come. So, you know, stay tuned. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.